What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. We have the new event going on in Genshin Impact. We have a bunch of stuff here. We have event shops, event details, whatever it may be. The event is absolutely massive. All these things that we can go through here, and each one has a specific small quest that you have to complete in order to do the rest of the stuff. Or the flame boom, whatever it may be. As you guys can see, it's you know. It, it takes a few days until you actually complete it as well as all the other things as well for example the great gathering you know you have to do the quest and then you'll be able to you know do all the other stuff and the bright windowed lanterns also now the prosperous partnership is how you pick the character that you want obviously here is the engine which is the character that i want out of my free to play account however <laughs> i think i might choose shink cho for this one now you need these two items and the only way you get these two items is through this event. All right, so in order for you guys to get the main stuff out of the event, which is the free four star character as well as Ning Wong's skin, you actually need to get all of these talisman. Now the talisman is also used to unlock, you know, these characters or like the character from here. But if you spend the talisman, it don't, don't worry about it because all you need to do is just obtain them in order for you guys to get the Ningguang outfit. Now, in the event, after you do a little bit of a mini quest, you are able to actually do all of the other event quests such as these. So you get, you know, a certain amount of score for this and you get the reward. As you guys can see, you can get up to 300 talisman for each of these and then you get more on the next parts and you move on. All right, so currently we have only two types of fireworks. We got the mountain clouds, let down golden rain. I don't know. I guess we just do these. And in order for us to get the most out of it, we do like different types. Um, And you want to get at least a 3000 score for each in order for you guys to obtain the maximum reward or like 2700, something around that line. Gives you a little tutorial here that says click to select the parameters that you need for smelting. And it shows you you need this much color, this much size and height. And then you click to change the um, settings. So this parameter quality will increase moderately. You want to just click that. It gives you the whole tutorial and then you just click on smell. All right. So currently for the size, it's small and you want the parameters to meet these requirements. So you got to do it one more time. And there we go. Now it's a little bit over. However, I don't think it's that much of a problem. And then you go over here to the um, color. You do the same thing, single smell again, and then click one more time. It did go over. However, it's not that big of a deal either. Um, so if you want, you could just do this and this will you know, work just as well. You guys can see, you can just do this a few times and it will get pretty much perfect. This does, you know, change things. We just complete the smelting process. And there we go. We get a top firework. We get quality rating. This does give us all the reward. If we go to the reward tab here, I can show you guys that we did actually complete it. Now, go over here. And as you guys can see, I got all the rewards, including a firework over here, which is pretty cool as well. All right, for the great gathering event, obviously you just, you know, you do these, you get the items from the ocean or I guess from the land in this situation here. All you got to do is teleport over here. All right, you make your way over here and you'll be met with these guys. Obviously, you need to do the thing that they taught you within the mini quest that you did, which is to get rid of the enemies, you know, increased damage reduction, right? So all you got to do is just fight them now after you've done the, uh, the damage reduction, you know, removal or whatever it's called. All right, after you complete that, you're going to pick up the item that's left on the floor and you're going to obtain the talisman. All right, here we have another one right here. We do the same thing. And I think I woke up the, the ruined cars that were here. So we might have some company as well. All right, after you defeat them and you awoke the ruined guards as well, you defeat the ruined guards and you pick up the talisman that are here as well. Alrighty, I think this might be the final one. You pick up that and you get the talisman back. Alright, now that we've completed the one on the land, we have to complete the one on the sea as well. You just, you know, pick up wherever it shows you on the map. Just follow the, it to the T and you get where you need to be. Obviously here, as you guys can see, we finish that and we just pick up the rest. And you just 
continue to do that just follow them on the map and you'll be able to get all of them. all right now that we've completed both of these we unlock this little thing here where we can get you know a certain amount of score and after we get the certain amount of score which is 3000 for the max amount we get all of the rewards here we have it <laughs> we just pretty much have to you know explode the barrels in order for us to do damage all right here we go we got a 3000 score which is all we need here we got it we got all the talisman we got some of the extra rewards and we have another one here to go through all right and here we completed the other one as well i'd say the easiest tactics is just to actually just hit the actual thing all right now this one's a little bit different than the others you have three right here but you first try the first one in order for you guys to get it and now you have to adjust the part of the shadow launcher in order for you guys to create the image on the shadows. Now it will tell you in the bottom right or the bottom left where the shadows form approaches the final launcher, and you need to be as close to 100% as possible. And right, when you get it right, it'll automatically just do it for you. And once you finish it, you can just go to the next riddle. All right, there we go. We got the kite. This one's actually rather easy. And after you finish all of these, you get a bunch of talisman, as you guys can see here. You complete those, and we have to wait for the next, you know, riddles to unlock after one to five days. And now, as you guys can see, we have all of the invitation costs necessary in order for us to get this. Now, where is the conquest? talisman now i'm assuming what will happen with this one is actually we're going to get a boss fight which was you know revealed in the trailer we're gonna get a boss fight that will allow us to actually get these or these rather so we're going to have to wait a little bit longer until we're able to actually unlock one of these characters now for the event shop as you guys can see here you can buy a bunch of these fireworks as well as some you know gemstones and you've got a bunch of heroes with as well and there is this other stuff with the furnitures. And then the third one is obviously not unlocked yet where you can get books and a crown of insight. Now, if you guys actually spend, you know, your, you know, your talisman here, as you guys can see, you spend, you can still, you still need a thousand to spend on this. However, for Ningguang's outfit, you just need to obtain them. You don't need to keep them in order for you guys to actually get Ningguang's outfit. But yeah, that's going to be the event, guys. That was quite, you know, eventful, as you guys might have seen. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking the video as well, subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for all the support on my channel. See you guys in the next video very, very soon.